Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Please excuse the low quality microphone. I'm at work right now, so I don't have my normal setup. And I just wanted to get this video out. It appears that Crash on the Run is ending. And it's something that we all saw coming. It was inevitable. They removed the ads so you couldn't have any continues and you couldn't multiply the stuff that you collected from the collection runs. The, then they pulled the game from the, the Google Play Store and the Apple App Shop. It was just like, we knew it was coming. Some of us were hopeful that they were going to update the game. Here's from the newsletter that we got of official... Cancellation. It says, it's with a heavy heart that we inform you on February 16th, 2023, we will terminate service for Crash Bandicoot on the run. On that date, the services will be taken down and the game will no longer be playable. Please also be aware that from December 19th, 2022, all in-app purchases will be turned off. For any purchases made, you will have until... February 16th, 2023, to make use of associated Purple Crystals in-game. If you have any questions about the decision to close down Crash Bandicoot on the run, please visit the community thread. On behalf of the Crash team, we'd like to extend a big thank you to our players for spending time in Crash Bandicoot on the run. So it's, it's like a kick in the gut, really. They had so many things planned coming soon there was jetpack levels it looked like jet board levels it looked like they had minecart levels planned they said new skins were coming we had that uh, data mine of madame amberly and and trance like there was just a lot of hope that we had as a community that this game was going to continue on the worst thing is people that spent real life money on this game now they're not even going to be able to look at their digital purchases. Like, they can't even open up the game and look at the skins they purchased. It's just going to be unplayable. I didn't really use real money ever. The Bandicoot Pass and stuff. I bought one of them, and then I was hopeful that all the stuff that I didn't purchase would be available in future updates, like to buy in the shop. So I bought every skin that was available. So I have a hundred skins. It's just, it's really sad. This was a fun game. They had nice nods to continuity. Like, literally everything about, like, the cosmetics of the game was on point to me. And it's just a shame. Uh, that's pretty much it, everyone. Crash on the Run is... Not going to be accessible in February of next year. Which is a real big shame because this was the 25th anniversary game that we had for the Crash series. We even had the 25th anniversary season. So now it's not even going to be accessible. So once the game is no longer functioning, I think I'm just going to leave the icon on my iPhone. Just, you know... So I can always have a little bit of Crash on the Run with me. Okay, everyone, I hope you have a great evening and take care. Bye-bye.